Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. From time to time, the situation arises where you know the straight line distance between two points, but you need to figure out the length of a sinusoidal curve connecting those points. Uh, for example, this could come up when you're putting in a pipeline. Uh, maybe you've got a trench that's a couple of feet wide, and you're putting a one and a half inch pipe in it that's you know, off of a coil of HDPE pipe, so it's going to kind of snake around in, in the uh, trench. And so it's, your pipe is going to have to be longer than the straight line distance of the trench, and you need to know how much pipe to order. Uh, or uh, you're painting a shed that is uh, encased in corrugated metal siding. And so you know the, the basic surface area of the shed, or you can calculate it, say it's a, an 8 by 16 shed, you can calculate how many square feet of walls it has, but you need to know how many square feet of surface area it has on those walls so that you can get enough paint to cover all of that corrugated siding. Anyway, the last time that I needed to calculate the length of a sinusoidal curve, of course I had forgotten the formula and it was surprisingly difficult to find it again. Uh, you know, in fact, just typing it into a Google search, a lot of the uh, search results that I got were pages claiming that there is no analytical formula, you know, that uh, you just have to write a computer program to calculate it using numerical approximation methods, which is kind of ridiculous because there is a simple formula for it. Uh, so I ended up basically having to rederive it. Uh, but I did get the formula back, and so I wanted to share that with all of you, and hopefully this video will now come up in search results for length of a sinusoidal curve and save some other people the trouble that I went through. Hopefully you can read that on the camera there. Uh, to find the length of a sinusoidal curve, first we need to find the amplitude ratio, uh, which is just going to be the vertical height of the sinusoid, you know, from the base of one trough to the height of the peak, uh, divided by the wavelength. Uh, and then with the amplitude ratio, we can calculate the length of the curve uh, as being the, the overall linear length times the square root of 1 plus 4 times the amplitude ratio quantity squared. So for example, let's say we're painting a shed. Uh, maybe our corrugated siding stands out about an inch from the flat surface underneath and the ridges are say 4 inches apart. So uh, that'll make the math easy because then our amplitude ratio is 1 fourth uh, and one-fourth times four is one, and one squared is still one, and then one plus one is two, and so, you know, we've calculated the nominal square footage of the wall, we just multiply that by square root of two, which is like 1.707, uh, and we can get an estimate of the actual surface area that we need to paint. Or let's say we're putting in a pipeline, maybe our trench is two feet wide by 500 feet long, and the pipe snakes back and forth with a periodicity of, say, 40 feet. Uh, that one I'm not going to try and do in my head, especially on camera, but if we punch it into a calculator, we get that our length of pipe needs to be... 509.9 uh, feet, or you know, basically we need an extra 10 feet of pipe to allow for the curvature of the pipe snaking back and forth. Anyway, uh, hope this helps. Uh, I don't know why this formula is so poorly documented on the internet, but uh, maybe this video will help to solve that problem. Anyway, till next time, thank you for watching the Idaho Owen Show.